Welcome back to Switch to Linux. We're back on Monday with another Top 5. And I had a request to look at the Top 5 Linux uh, desktop recording applications. And so we wanted to have a look at those. I thought that'd be a, a fun uh, video to overcome. And uh, what I've actually found is that um, there, are, there are not that many that uh, I found that were actually very good to use. But we're going to go through the ones that I did find. Um, so the first two I actually use on a regular basis. So the first one that we uh, want to have a look at is OBS. So OBS is what I use to record most of the time. There's a few examples where I might use another one, but uh, this one here is not my most common. So I actually have it right over here. So this is actually what I'm recording on right now. Now what I like about OBS is you have an entire suite of different scenes that you can create and uh, these will all give you different options that you have now some of these you don't see much showing up on here because they'll be calling in different windows that are not active right now um, including things like the the famous kitty camera which is not plugged in right now the fire screen um, so there's a whole lot here that you can do with OBS now that obviously the the reason you might not use OBS is it certainly is a lot more complicated than many of your other systems and so OBS while it is great and it is awesome and probably the best one to use for any good level of producing the problem with it, of course, is it is complicated and it is oftentimes overkill. But you can use this for streaming or for individual recording like I'm doing here. So the second application that I would use for doing screen recording is Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, this one here is, fortunately now it is generally available in the repositories. There was a time that it was not and you'd have to install it by adding a PPA. So Simple Screen Recorder is, in my opinion, outside of OBS, the best for just doing simple screen capturing. Um, there's some reasons you might not want to use this one um, as well. We'll get into there. But here you can set up various different profiles. You can decide which screen you want to do. So um, I have two screens running on this computer right now, so I can capture either of the two screens. Or I can record any fixed rectangle. Um, so I can just kind of select what I want and then the problem of course here and the reason I wouldn't necessarily use this for recording um, a small window is because it just I can't see on the screen exactly where I'm at and so um, that might not be something you want to do. Um, now you can pick over here where your audio is going to be coming from hit the continue on the next part. Um, you can check your uh, check your um, your container you can check your codecs here so there's a lot of different things that you can do and then um, I guess over here I actually need to enter in a file name to continue all right and then over here you can actually start um, with a preview now you'll see that there's nothing showing up here it's because my microphone is already in use so it's not gonna be able to pick up my microphone right now um, but you'll see here that uh, it gives us a preview and then I just need to hit start recording and stop recording and then I can set various hotkeys as well onto different things. When you are done you can uh, pause the recording and then pick it back up and continue or you can just go ahead and save the recording. So that is simple screen recorder which is the one that I will use um, as my, my second backup. And the kitty wants to come up and say hi. Hello, everybody. Use recorders for Linux. They rock. All right. So the next one that uh, we're going to have a look at is VocoScreen. And uh, VocoScreen is actually pretty nice because you can actually have this very nice uh, window here. Let me move this down so you can see what our settings look like. I, I like the, the GUI here. It's, it's very easy uh, to figure out. Um, we can do a full screen, we can select just a specific window, or we can select a various area. So here you can adjust your area to whatever size you want. We have some magnification ability here, um, and then there's uh, a countdown timer. You can choose from your audio settings, so just pick from your audio settings where you want. So you can see I picked my particular microphone here. Um, again, this wouldn't record anything if I if I uh, push the button because the microphone is already in use. 
Over here, you can pick information about your codecs, your frames per second, your format. Um, and then here you can choose to hide or record your mouse cursor. Your video path will decide where the file saves at, um, what are the players, and then you can show it in the system tray, which is down here, uh, down here in the very bottom. All right, and then you can select your web camera. Again, it's not going to be able to work for me right now because the web camera is actually in use. And then uh, here's other information that you might want. Go ahead and hit the start button. It just does a good job of recording whatever's in this region. And then you'll be able to hit the stop button. Now what I like about this one, uh, some people might like it, some people might not like it, is that it keeps the, the uh, interface here, the controls on the screen. So you can start it or stop it, you can minimize them down. Now the danger is, of course, if you care what's in your system tray, if your setup actually has a system tray, that might be, you might want to look for something else to use. And so the fourth one I'm going to look at here is Kazam. So Kazam has a user interface much the same. I did have a little bit more difficulty getting the microphone set up. Uh, it wasn't super hard, but I did actually get that set up. You just need to come up here into File and Preferences. Make sure that you're, um, you are using the correct, uh, the correct setup here uh, for it. Basically, it was not auto-selecting my microphone. You can select the full screen, which on this computer would be both screens are recording. Um, you can do all screens. Um, you can do a window, which you are just going to want to select a specific region, push enter, or area. Also, you can select a specific region, press enter, and then it'll pick the area. Again, very much like simple screen recorder, it's not going to show you that area, so you got to keep track of it. Now, on this one, when you hit the capture, um, everything here will all go away. So if you do care about what is down in your system tray, if you're running a system tray, Kazam might be the better option because everything goes away, except you will have down here the option to pull this up and stop it. So you will actually have to stop it from down uh, down here. Um, and I guess this is the system tray. This is more of the taskbar. I think I was saying system tray. Um, this would be more of your taskbar. This is more of your system tray. So you have to stop this from the system tray. All right, so uh, that is why you might use Kazam. Now, the fifth thing that you might use is, I'm just going to throw this one out, is that many of your distros will come with a screen recorder built into it. And so if your distro happens to have one of those, use the one that's built in first for the basic things. Uh, if it, there isn't one for the basic things, pick either Simple Screen Recorder, Voco Screen, or Kazam, whichever one works. And of course, if you need more advanced stuff, then you'll want to go ahead and install OBS for that. And then, you know, work with OBS and get that all set up. Now, I did ha also look at um, Record My Desktop. The problem is on, I tested out both on uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon and on Manjaro, um, I think Manjaro Deepin. I could not get the GUIs to work in any way. The things would just not work well. So um, I would say probably use Record My Desktop if you need to record something from the terminal. Um, then that might be a good option. And that might be what I use to record the desktop on the um, uh, on my Cubes videos. I can't remember exactly the one I used over there. Um, but th that is if you do want something from the terminal. So 5 slash 6 or maybe 5, I don't know. Uh, five total combined would either be record my desktop from the terminal or using um, uh, whatever is already built into your specific distro. So this is Tom and the kitty saying, I hope you enjoy switching to Linux. And again, if you would like to help support what we do at the channel, check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support to learn about the latest ways that you can support us. There's also some links below to Patreon and to Amazon, which are my current support methods as of the recording of this video. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.